This week on Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use a sort by parameter to enable sort by ascending, descending, but also by A to Z and Z to A. Let's go. So first off, I'm just going to create my standard bar chart. So we want subcategory by sales. So as you can see, it's in no particular order, but we can click our little drop down here to sort by A to Z, by descending, ascending, or back to A to Z. But what happens if I wanted to sort Z to A? We currently can't do that unless we go into the settings, sort, and then change that to descending or ascending. But then you're, you're limited, so then you can't then sort by, um, ascending by sales or descending by sales. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a parameter and we're just going to call this sort by. Now we're going to use numbers because they're easier to reference within a calculation. But then we're just going to display the value as certain things. So we want the first one to be A to Z and then Z to A. Next we want ascending and then finally we want descending. So now we've got our parameter set up and we want to show parameter control. You can then see we've got our different options but then we've got no calculation to sort that. So I'm just going to clear the sort on here so we don't get too confused. So what we can do is we can set up the first the calculation to sort by. So we're going to use a case statement because it's a lot easier than trying to repeat yourself all the time. So case statement when one then because we don't know what we're going to do for one and two yet we're just going to have three and four so when three then sum of sales when four then minus the sum of sales which gives us the descending version so i'm just going to leave that there and click ok i'm going to go into subcategory sort and then what we want to do is by field on the sort by option okay so this is already set up and we've got a custom aggregation so now when I click on ascending it will change it to ascending and descending it will change it back but now A to Z works naturally within Tableau because of it, the default sorter but Z to A just doesn't do anything so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get use ASCII to get the numbers for each of these specific letters. So let's create the first ASCII, first character. So we're going to do the left of subcategory, the number one. So I'm going to just do this in stages so you can see how it's progressing. So as you can see, we've got a capital A. Now what I want to do is I want to wrap this left in an ASCII. But I'm going to put a, the string function in front of it so it keeps it as a string rather than turns it into a number. So hit apply. We've now got our first, let, first letter as a character. Great. Now I'm going to duplicate this and then we can change this to be our second character. But this time, instead of a left, we're going to do a mid. And we're also going to take it at position 2 for the first letter. Hit apply. And if I put that in, we get a slightly different number. And that's because we've got upper and lowercase. So I'm going to make this an uppercase in here first. And then we're going to have the mid of that. So now when we get to... Um, our numbers you can see that a capital C is now equal to a little c as well. So the last phase in this calculation is to merge them together. So what we want to do is we want the first character plus the second character. And then this is going to give you a string version of a calculation. But as you can see it's all in number order. But we want to make this into an integer to allow us to use it in our other calculation. So we just wrap this in an int function. 
and now it's changed to a number instead. So when we go back into our sort by, I'm just going to remove all of these out of our view. So when we go into sort by, we can now add our other two calculations. So when one, then we want the minimum of ASCII because if I didn't put the minimum in, it would say cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate because we've already got the sum of sales. Now for the second one, what we want to do is we want to do 10,000 or any number minus the min of ASCII. This is then going to give us the the minimum, the, the minus value, so it goes reverse. So now if I hit apply, we now have tables, supplies, storage, phones, paper, so on and so forth, all in the right order depending on the first and second character. So as you can see, if I hit A to Z, it goes back to normal, Z to A, reversed, ascending and descending.